Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video today. If you are new, welcome. My name is Mallory. If you are not new, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I created my wedding invitations. You may have seen a few videos ago, I did our save the dates. I'll link that up here. But for those, we did a vellum overlay, so I kind of wanted to stick with that same theme, and I did a vellum jacket, so it kind of just holds, you know, the details and the RSVP cards and everything together. They were really simple to make. We are having a small wedding, like less than 50 people, so I think that if it would have been like anything over that or a hundred or more, it definitely would have been easier to just order, you know, them printed, but... I'm cheap, really cheap. Frugal, is that a better word? Cheap. Anyways, I will have all the products that I use listed in the description below. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them in the comment section for me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would really mean a lot to me if you did that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so a quick snapshot of the invitations once they're all completed. Here it is assembled. I just use these little stickers to imitate like the wax seal. All of your details cards and your RSVP cards are gonna go inside that. A quick overview of some of the supplies. I just used regular printer paper for the envelope liners. I did five by sevens for the invitations and the envelopes, but I really wanted to make sure that I found the envelopes that had like that triangle flap versus the square flap because the envelope liners, it just wanted to have been as prominent. Um, and then these are, I think these are like three by five. So this is what I used for the RSVP cards. And I had a really hard time finding like the craft paper with that um, triangle flap on Amazon. I ended up finding those. It's the Recollections brand. So I think that's Michael's. And then this is a vellum paper. I got this from Amazon. I used the same vellum paper for the save the dates. It is super forgiving, super easy to print on. You can fold it really nice and like I said, super forgiving and prints really, really nice. Um, another option for like the details card, these I found at Hobby Lobby. This was a pack for like $9.99 and then with your um, discount or if they're on sale for 40% off it was like six bucks and I got 50 envelopes and 50 um, five by seven cardstock so just plain cardstock and you could use that as an alternative to your details cards or you could just get like printer eight by five by eleven printer paper and cut it down to size you're also going to need a paper cutter one that has a ruler on it so you can size everything accordingly. So this is the snapshot of the Silhouette software, everything before I started printing it. These are the RSVP cards, the envelopes, the details cards. I just kind of pieced everything together. The florals came from Etsy. It was a bundle. Um, it had like 15 different floral bunches. I just kind of, you know, pieced them together. I sized my page to five by seven because that's what the cards are going to be. Now this is the vellum overlay. For this, I did just use the eight by five by 11. That's the vellum paper that you saw earlier. And I took this image and I literally sliced it in half and then just used the arrows to move it completely to the other side. So when you fold it, it is completely flush end to end. So it's still a single image, if that makes sense. If you have any questions about that, let me know. All right, so these are the envelope liners. The envelope liners were a little bit tricky but I found out that in the Silhouette software, there's a shape that replicates an envelope. So it's like, you know, the square with the triangle top. And I just selected that, I made the initial shape, and then I went through, or I went over to the sizing, and 
I adjusted the dimensions to the envelope. So I measured the envelope, how much, you know, how wide it was exactly. It was a little over five by seven. I think it's like 5.25 by 7.25. But then I also had to account for the length of the flap when I open it up, if that makes sense. So it definitely took a little bit of a, you know, practice and I probably went through so many scrap pieces of paper but this was really just to give me a template you don't necessarily need to do all this you could totally just print your image on your plain printer paper and then trace it around the envelope and cut it but I like to make things difficult so here it is. Now I have my template for the envelope liner. I'm going to paste this image on top. And then when I print it, I want to make sure that I erase the white and that black background because I want to be left with just the floral image and my red outlines. And the red outlines are what I'm going to cut. So it'll be the exact dimensions but a little bit smaller than the envelope. I'm definitely not articulating it very well. Um, it was a little bit tricky. I had to finagle some things, but in the end, this is what I was left with on my printer paper. It was really easy once I got them printed. I just used the paper cutter and the lines as a guide, and it goes really smoothly once you get the hang of it. This is, I think, like the first one, so I was struggling just to make sure that it was lined up perfectly. I didn't want to have any of that red line still showing because obviously when you put it on the envelope, you're still gonna see it. So um, practice makes perfect. I definitely messed a few up. I went through tons and tons of scrap paper, but all in all, I was really happy with it. Now I'm cutting just the edges off first so I have a completely straight edge. I want like that 90 degree angle still. And I found this really cool tool on Amazon. It's kind of, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it just leaves your edges of the paper with a little bit of a um, curve on it. So it's not such a harsh 90 degree angle. It just gives it a little bit of a finished touch and because the envelopes, the flap wasn't, you know, a 90 degree angle or didn't come to a complete point, it just helped it look a little bit more finished. So again, cut off where those red lines are. You're going to want to make the bottom cut a little bit shorter. It doesn't necessarily need to fit all the way to the bottom of the envelope. You're just looking to be able to slide it in and leave a little bit of a gap where the liner and the envelope meet. I'll show you, moving on. So here's the flap. You can see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to position it a little bit lower than the flap on the envelope. So we have that um, seal so we can seal the envelope. And from here, this is just like a double-sided tape roller. I don't even know. It was kind of like a glue slash tape consistency, but worked really well for this. Also found this on Amazon. So I'm just running it along the edges and then I'm gonna slide it in to the envelope and press it down, really easy. You kind of got to be careful because obviously there's that tape and glue on the back of it so it wants to stick but just position it as straight as you can i kept telling myself that once these envelopes are opened half of this is probably going to be destroyed and no one's really going to appreciate it as much as i do right so uh yeah just position it in there press it down it the um that like double-sided tape was really, really strong. It was forgiving, so if I did have to kind of, you know, peel it up and reposition it, I could. But go ahead and finish that on all 50 envelopes and you're ready for the next part. So I have everything printed now. Now I'm ready to assemble everything. All of the envelope liners are done. I have the uh, addresses. I have them all addressed. I just 
again, sized it with the silhouette and ran it through my printer. I am using a laser printer for the black ink because I really didn't want it to smear. And for the florals, I just used my inkjet printer. Here it is on the vellum paper. I did have to cut about three quarters of an inch off just to make it sit completely flush and I didn't want a huge overlap when I completely wrapped everything. I'll show you what I mean. But everything here is now cut and ready to be assembled. So I'm gonna put the RSVP card in first. Make sure you put a stamp on those. I forgot to stamp half of them and had to go back and open everything up. So from here, I'm just gonna lay the details card down and then the, um, the cover page. I don't even know what you call these things. <laughs> <laughs> and line it all up. I'm using the straight edge of my paper cutter to just make sure everything is nice and even and wrap it over, run your finger down it, add the nice little seams. You're going to be left with that overhang. Just use your paper cutter to chop that off. And rather than getting the real wax and melting it and doing all of that, I found these on Amazon. They're the little wax imitation melts and they had a sticky backing, so stick it right in the middle. Everything's closed up and done. Now you're gonna assemble it and stamp them and drop them in the mailbox. All right, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section for me. I'll see you guys next time.